just thought I'd make a quick video of a, a very inexpensive or pretty much free way to increase the range of your uh, of your Bofang UV5R or really any other handy talkie or hammy talkie, whatever you want to call it, HT, uh, you want. This will work on higher end stuff too, not just the cheap radios, but the advantage is these Bofangs is that they're like 26 bucks. So you really don't want to put a ton of money into antennas. Though I did. I, I, this was only like 9 bucks on Amazon. It's a uh, it's not the best brand. It's a Hyperion. It's for uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeters. But anyway, a pretty much free way to increase performance of these is to add a counterpoise or what's been termed a tiger tail. It's um basically acting as a ground plane. It's a quarter quarter the length of the wave. Uh, the, technically these tennas are quarter wave even though they're uh, these are pretty much uh, dummy loads, these rubber duck antennas. But uh, ha adding a counterpoise will greatly increase the reception even with the uh, stock antenna. There's two ways you can do this. You can either um, do what I did is uh, I used a multimeter and I checked the continuity between the uh, belt clip holder screw and the ground of the antenna connector and they're uh, pretty much connected to each other so I just took a length of wire the length that you'll want will depend on your frequency you use for 2 meter or uh, VHF you're gonna want 19 to 20 inches sorry you can't see that but 19 to 20 inches for 2 meter 19 if you're on the uh, if you're on a lower side of that, and 20 if you're on the higher side. And for UHF, or 70 centimeter, it's 6 to 7.5 inches. So just make your counterpoise, depending on which one you use the most. I use 2 meters, so I made this about 20 inches long. I usually go for the high side because I like being able to scan police frequencies and fire frequencies. The other way you can do this, though, besides... Uh, I just took that out, make sure it's wrapped nice around the screw, and then screw it back in tight. And I check the continuity between the end and the ground of the antenna connector, and there wasn't much resistance at all, so this will work well this way, at least on my particular radio. Anywhere you can get a nice ground that's, uh, that is connected to the ground of the antenna connector, you can connect the counterpoise. Another way to do it is take a ring terminal. This one's beat up. This is how I did it first and you're going to make the same length of wire and crimp it in here and then you're going to get a ring terminal that fits your uh, antenna connector and you'll go in between the antenna and the connector I'll show you here I'm going to put the uh, big antenna back on sorry for the uh, problem with the focusing the light's not the best in here and I have to do this with one hand but uh, the outer part of the connector focusing on this is really bad. The outer part of the connector is the ground. The uh, positive where the RF power actually comes out is the little pin in there so you don't want anything to touch that except your antenna obviously. But you'll crimp your uh, wire into here and make sure that on your radio it sits down onto the connector and doesn't keep the antenna from screwing down all the way. If it does you may either have to grind down this lip here or uh, sand this down. I sanded this down just because it was corroded. But basically you just put that there and then you'll take your antenna. I'd highly suggest getting a uh, getting a nice antenna on Amazon. You can look at reviews. They're usually fairly accurate reviews. Uh, but you can just use the stock antenna too because the point of this mod is to be cheap and still get good performance out of your radio. But you'll screw it down onto the ring connector, making sure it still screws down majority of the way. And uh, this will increase. Uh, some people say in forums that it'll go up to a five. It'll be a five dB gain. That's um, that's. Uh, I'm not going to go into what gain is, but it just increases the gain of your antenna, so you get better reception going in and out. But uh, here, I'll put it to scan. I have a lot of uh, the poli local police, sheriff, fire, and EMS programmed in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and scan through my channels and see if there's anything going on so you can hear how this sounds. Of course, it'll depend on how close you are. Oh, another thing to mention is um, with the uh, 
with the counterpoise, I can hear a lot of local repeaters with the stock antenna. I can't reach them, but I can at least hear them with the counterpoise. I couldn't do that without that. With the counterpoise and the big antenna, I can reach them with a fairly strong signal. I couldn't reach them with the big antenna and no counterpoise, just because uh, they're good ways away. I'm here in Lacey, Washington, and most of the repeaters are in the Olympia area. And I'm inside, too. I'm not, I, I'd get much better reception if I were inside. I mean, outside. But I just, uh, you can, again, sorry this is kind of out of order, but, um, you can use any wire, copper, strand copper wire is just what I used. Excuse the phone, one second. Okay, sorry about that. Like I was saying, I just use some, uh, normal stranded copper wire. It doesn't matter what you use, as long as it's fairly flexible, because you don't want a wire hanging off the back that's, uh, hard, makes the handling of the radio harder. Um... But the reason I went to doing the screw on the belt clip, um, it might not be as ideal as connecting it straight to the antenna ground, but uh, it makes it much easier to hold this with the uh, ring terminal not sticking out the back. I can run it underneath the belt clip and hold it just like I normally would, and unless I'm going to have this clipped in my belt or in my pocket, I don't even notice it. I, most of the time it's just here on my desk, it just goes back in there. And uh, you can actually use the counterpoise to angle. If, you, if you're if really on the edge of getting a good signal, not out or either from or to a repeater, you can angle this out to kind of manually tune the antenna. It's like, um, this basically acts as a single ground radial. Like if you had a big base antenna that has four ground radials, this is pretty much the same thing except you have one. Uh, it's not as good as a, ba as a base station antenna, obviously. I'll just let you listen to this for a minute. Road. Medic 11, BLS Green, 3675 Southeast Cedric Road, Crescent Phillips Road, Southeast and Aiken Road. Blood in the urine, 78 year old male, 1612. Well, that doesn't sound too good, so I'm going to turn that off. No, the signal sounds good. What's going on doesn't sound good. Anyway, thanks for watching. Sorry this video is longer and kind of out of order. Maybe I'll try to do a better video on antennas when I get home, when I get some more radios and do some more antenna building and stuff, which I'm pretty interested in, like, learning how antennas work and how RF energy, radiation, uh, the best way to get your signal out there. It really interests me, so if... Uh, Thank you for watching.